The Elwha River is located on the Olympic Peninsula in Washington State. It is the fourth largest drainage on the peninsula at 692 square kilometers. Since 83% of the drainage is located within the Olympic National Park, the river has extraordinarily clean water. The mouth of the river opens into the Strait of Juan de Fuca near Port Angeles. Historically, the river has supported up to 10 different runs of salmon, including Chinook, Coho, Pink, and Sockeye. Reports of fish up to 110 pounds were not uncommon. Salmon have three basic needs for their habitat. The first is a shaded channel. This keeps the water temperature down and provides protection from predators. Second is large woody debris. This debris provides a protected place to stop and rest on their journey upstream. And finally, gravel beds. Adult salmon will dig into the beds and deposit their eggs in the gravel. When it all comes together, it should look something like this reach on the upper Elwha River. Damming of the Elwha began in 1910 with the construction of the Elwha Dam. Due to some creative political moves, no fish passage was built with the dam. When the Glines Canyon Dam was built upstream in 1927, there was no need for fish passage since they could not get past the lower Elwha Dam. With the Elwha Dam in place, all but the lower 8 kilometers of the river was cut off to spawning salmon. These dams have several negative effects on salmon habitat. Aside from cutting off a large portion of the river, they create reservoirs where water warms before continuing downstream. These reservoirs also act as catchments for much of the sediment needed by the fish below the dam. Removal of the dams is set to begin soon. The first step will be to use the spillway as a temporary river channel to drain the lake behind the dam. Next, the powerhouse and other structures will be demolished. Once that is complete, the rest of the dam will be removed. Finally, the temporary channel will be blocked, allowing the river to once again flow in its original channel. The restoration of the drained lake beds will be accomplished in three phases. The river will slowly remove sediments accumulated in the lake. Native plants will be installed to facilitate the colonization of new river banks. Over a time frame of decades, these plants will establish a native river habitat for fish and other animals. While it may take decades to restore populations, someday the Elwha River will once again be one of the best salmon runs in the Northwest.